Hello and welcome to my Lancaster and Morecambe property market update report. I'm Michelle Gallagher and I'm reporting on to what's just happened in the month of April and what a month it's been. So to start off with, I thought I'd go down the whiteboard approach this month. So here we've got Lancaster and on this side we've got Morecambe. Now, just to let everybody know what the average asking prices are, because obviously house prices are increasing quite quite rapidly. Can't get my words out. So the average price in Lancaster at the moment is £156,959. And as you can see, it's up by 5.6% in a 12-month period. And this is actually based upon completed sales. Across in Morecambe, the average price is £144,589. Now, that is actually up by 6%, so we can see there's actually a bigger growth in property prices across the bay than in the city. Now, what's interesting to me is the gap between the average prices is actually closing, and I think we're going to see that actually get smaller as the weeks, months go ahead. So, back in Lancaster... I thought it'd be very cruel to actually compare 2021 to 2020, basically because April last year, we all know we we're in total lockdown, which literally meant none of us could actually go anywhere, not like lockdown two and lockdown three. So I thought, let's look back at 2019. So in April 2019, there were just 75 property sales. Yet this year, there's actually 121, as you can see, a big jump. What I find interesting is the available choice. A lot of people are saying there is no choice of properties on the market. But if you actually look over the month, the choice is actually only 20 less. What's happening is those houses are getting snapped up very, very quickly. Because when we look at new to the market properties in 2019, there was 100. Yet April this year, there was 119 more people putting the homes up for sale. Where the problem comes in is the demand for properties. Now, property views, this is the number of properties that have a daily average view on Rightmove. I use Rightmove for this because it's the only one website all agents are advertised on. Back in 2019, the average property had just 40 views each day. Now, you can see it's well, well over treble that at 142. Supply and demand is the problem we're facing. Over in Morecambe, it's a very similar story. In 2018, sorry, 2019, there was 83 sales. 2021, 151. That number is not far from double. Available choice, because of the property sales, is actually a bit less in Morecambe, but there were still 551 properties to choose from. It's just that some of those have been for sale for some time, so they're the ones that maybe should just be thinking about their marketing strategy. New to the markets, 142 in 2019. 2021, I've written 2020, please excuse me. Um, 151, so actually more to the market. And property views, well, not far from trebled. Again, supply and demand. So what's causing the supply and demand? And that was a question I got asked this morning. Well, it's a number of things. So first of all, don't forget back in 2019, 2018, even to, um, up to two, early 2020, we were dealing with Brexit. Of course, that's gone. And now, well, we've got a whole new set of issues, haven't we, with COVID. But we've had the pent-up demand. We've, had this, we've still got the stamp duty holiday. We've got the 95% gumba back mortgages that have been announced, and they're now in full force. But also in Lancaster, we've got Article 4 to deal with. For those that don't know, Article 4 is to do with HMOs, mainly student lets, where from November, City Council is restricting how many HMOs are actually allowed on a street. Um, if it's overpopulated, basically planning permission will most probably be rejected. All HMOs will have to get planning permission. So there's lots of things which are fueling all of this and something to keep a close eye on. Anyway, on the link below, you're going to find this month's report that links back to the website. I've separated it, Lancaster and Morecambe, for an overview for you. But as normal, if you do have any questions at all, please remember I'm here to help. Thanks for listening, and we'll see what May brings. Thank you.